Hi there, I made a quick little video here on how to change the default user NS root on a pair of Netscaler's password. So uh, with that, before we actually do that, we're also going to add a, another account to the Netscaler that has super user privileges on the Netscaler in the event that our NS root default user and password to get corrupt. So before we make any changes with our initial account that's set up on Netscalers, we should always make a secondary account that we should administrate from. So having said that, let's take a look at my setup here. So what I've got here is a pair of Netscalers, NS1 and NS2. That's what I've got set up here on this screen. That's our NS1. This is our NS2 over here. They're set up in HA config, so we can watch how the password syncs across both of them as well. So let's go ahead and log into NS1. So again, it's got the default username and password. And you can see by this that I have the system set up in HA mode. NS1 is set up as the primary. I have it configured right now to stay primary. And as far as the users go on the system, I have just the single user NS root. Let's pop over to NS2 just to take a peek at it. Again, I'm going to log in with NS root. I see the little warning information here regarding I'm connected to the secondary node and this is what I would expect to see. So on this you can tell by looking at this drop down I'm logging as NS root, I'm on NS2, that's the secondary, and that's Geller again. Take a look at the system, indicates here as far as HA goes, I'm on the secondary here, looking at the user configuration, a single account. Okay, so we can do this via the GUI or can we, we can do this via the command line. We're going to do it via the command line. So let me flip over to that. I'm going to go over to my NS1 machine here. You can see in the upper left hand side. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and log on as NS root and password. Now let's go ahead and add an account first. So we're going to add an admin account with the password of admin right now. And you'll see that on the screen as I type this in. So I'm going to add system user admin and the password is admin. I'm not saying this is what you should do, but you know, pick a good password. So it should come back with done. Now we need to bind the uh, uh, rights of basically a super user to that account. So I'm going to type in bind system user admin super user with a priority of zero. This is as per Citrix article CTX221612. Again, that's CTX221612 in terms of setting the priority at zero. I'm going to hit enter. It says it's done. Let's save the configuration. So again, I'm doing this on my primary. Okay, it says it's done. Let's flip over to Internet Explorer here and take a look at my consoles. So at this point here, I'm on NS1. And if we take a look at the users here, it says there's only NS root. So let's do a refresh. And there's the admin. If I select that, click Edit, or just double-click Admin, I'll see that as far as the policy name applied to it is super user. So that's what we want. So this has the ability to log in and have essentially full rights to the Netscaler. So having said that, let's take a peek uh, over at our secondary node. That's NS2, of which we're already logged in. So I take a look at that. Again, you only see the NS root account there. So let's do a refresh on this. And hopefully it's synced already and it looks that way so admin is sitting there as well and if I double click that likewise I see I've got super user rights to it so let me go ahead and log out of the secondary node come with the primary one as well I'm going to log out of that and let's test to see if that account works so I'm going to log in as admin and the password was admin as well and it lets me log in. 
Okay, so let's do this. Again, I talked about uh, changing the NSroot password as we started this video here. So let me go back to the command line. Again, if we did it to the GUI, it would be too boring. So let's do it to the command line here. So as far as changing the password for NSroot, let's do this. Let's type in set system system user NSroot and you're going to type the new password. In this case, I'm just going to type in password. Enter. It says it's done. Let's save it. Now remember, because this is already an existing user, we don't have to bind a policy to it. So we just want to save the configuration. Save. It didn't like that. Let's see here. Let's try this again. Okay, that was right. Oh yeah, save config. Okay, says it's done. Again, it should be syncing with NS2. So let's, at this point, let's go ahead and exit out of this. And go over to our Internet Explorer and take a look at our NetScalers here. So I'm going to log out here and check this guy over here. So we're logged out of NS2. We're logged out of NS1. So let's log on as NSroot with our new password of password. Okay, we're back into the system again as NSroot. If I try the same thing on the secondary node, again the warning about being on the secondary node, click OK. And that's essentially it. Uh, pretty quick and easy to do. Hope you've learned something from this video, and uh, we'll talk to you later.